everyone, it's Rikisha12. So today I decided to stack up the four top browsers on Mac OS X and see which one's the best. Let's see how they do. So first up is Safari. Safari is made by Apple and it is the uh, only one included with the Mac OS if you first get it. So that's going to be one of our first contestants. So next up is Mozilla's Firefox, which is actually a pretty old web browser, but that is our next contestant. So next up is Opera Software's Opera web browser. That is, it's a pretty young one on the market, but it is another contestant. So last on the list is Google's Chrome browser, which is like Firefox, an old browser. It's been used for quite a while, but it is my favorite browser is the one I use the most. So for our first test, I'll be using Basemark's Web 3.0 software to test stuff like stressing and, and resizability to get a total score for the web browsers. So let's see how they stack up. So at the end of the Basemark test, Safari got 374.46, which could be a good score, could be a bad score, but we have to sit, check out the other scores for the other web browsers to see. Next up is Firefox with 256.81, which isn't as good as Safari, so that makes Firefox so far in second place. So the score for Opera was 359.95, which brings Opera to second place right under Safari. So final scores, 266.24 for Chrome, giving it third place, replacing Firefox for that one. So, take a look at the graph, you shall see that that's where all of the four browsers stack up, and that's all the scores. But what kind of mere mortal do you think I am to stop the test right there? Oh no, we're gonna move on to our second test. How fast the browsers load up when I open them up. So, the rules of this test are pretty simple. Uh, we, I'm going to have only Keynote open and I'm going to launch the web browsers three times and I'm going to press a button on my phone to launch a stopwatch. Uh, I'll, then I'll compile those three times and I'll uh, and make an average from those three numbers and the average will be the final score on how the browsers perform. Okay, so take a look at the times here. We have Chrome with an average of 2.4 seconds on the browser times. For Firefox, that's an average of 2.8 seconds on the browser times. For Opera, that's an average of 6.3 seconds on the browser times. For Safari, it's an average of 0 0.8 seconds on the browser times. Best time goes to Safari. So, that now means that we can update the chart, and as you can see, now we have the included seconds. So now you can see which one's the fastest, along with their score on the benchmark. I already mentioned that I'm no mere mortal, and this is another example. We're heading on to our third test, Octane, which is made by Google, and it is a nice JavaScript-based test for every single web browser. It pretty much is pretty optimized. So we're going to start off with uh, Safari's Octane score of 22,493. Could be a good score, could be a good, bad score, but we're going to compare it between all the rest of the browsers, and we're going to see how Safari can keep their hold. So Opera score of 21,729 puts it in second place right behind Safari. Chrome gets put in third place once again for 21,314, which is actually worse than Opera, which is quite crazy. And finally, we have Firefox, 19,599, putting it in fourth place for the worst browser in the Octane test. So by now, our graph is starting to get really large. As you can see, the numbers are starting to really skyrocket. But hopefully, you can still tell which ones are the best. Safari, of course, has gone all three of the points so far, which is absolutely crazy how optimized this thing is for Mac OS. All the other browsers cannot keep up with what Safari has in store for Mac users. 
But we are still not done with testing. That's right. Test number four, HTML5 test. We are going to have a score of 555 points. And we're going to see which web browser has the highest score. That way they have the most support for HTML5. Let's see how the browsers stack up. So Google Chrome has a 499 out of 555, which is pretty good. For, for for Google Chrome out of 555 points, not bad. Firefox ranks a less score than Google Chrome at 474 out of 555, still not bad, but but not as good as Google Chrome. Then Opera comes around, delivers a nice 516 out of 555, taking the top of the list. But what's this? Safari gets a 383 out of 555, giving it the lowest score out of all of the other web browsers, which means Safari can't run HTML5 as efficiently as all the other browsers. This point is for Opera. Our graph continues to get crazier and crazier. There are the brand new added numbers in orange to the HTML score, and Opera pulls off this one. So we finally got our leaderboard updated. Safari three points, Opera one point, and Chrome and Fox zero points. But our testing is, of course, not done there. Let's continue on to the next test. Our next test is test number five, the speedometer test. Let's take a look at how our web, our web browsers stack up. So Google Chrome comes out with an 83.7 on the speedometer test. Pretty good, but we shall see how does it fare up with all the other browsers. Firefox is a 38.1, which is a lot worse than Chrome, so that fares it up at second place. Opera gets a 65.0, fares it up at second place, with Firefox in third place. Of course, Safari wins with 89.1, completely destroying Firefox and Opera. Chrome, of course, had a nice second, and Opera had a nice third, while Firefox again comes out in fourth place. So, updating the chart once again, here we have the scores updated. The red, will mean, of course, means the speedometer score higher is better, and that gives another point towards Safari. And now we have a five, a white, no, a, sorry, a four, and one for four for Safari, and one for Opera. Chrome and Firefox still have zero, but there's one more test, and let's see if one of them could get a point. And to finally decide the fate of any of these browsers, let's see if Chrome and Firefox could get at least one point to try and get some kind of rating on our next test, the graphics test. Google Chrome for motion mark test got 278.21. We shall see how that stacks up against the three other web browsers that we have. Firefox's score reaches a lot lower than Google Chrome, which is not a good thing. At 120.21, that falls in second place right now. Then Opera comes around and saved the day. At exactly 288 motion mark tests, Opera proves the first place spot between Firefox and Chrome. What hope for Opera? But at 317.38, Safari takes the number one spot from Opera, leaving Safari at first place, Opera at second place, Google Chrome at third place, and Firefox at fourth place. So after my very extensive testing and using these browsers, I can finally come up with the conclusion to of course say Safari had the best score. At five points, Safari is completely obliterated Opera, Firefox, and Chrome, especially Chrome and Firefox. I love Chrome. Chrome is a great web browser, but seeing these tests, Chrome is obviously not as optimized for Mac OS X as compared to these other browsers. Opera is definitely on its way for it holding most of the second place spots, and 
it it's very close to becoming the next safari safari is just very optimized for uh, from apple because it's apple's own software opera itself has been getting better cleaner and obviously it's very close and had deserves its second place spot it's free vpn and all its customization works well and opera is actually a great browser so of course you don't need to you can still choose whatever web browser you want you don't have to choose these ones or the best one it really just depends on a lot of factors even more than i could test on this video these web browsers they all can do the same thing but in different ways and that's why we have so much variety of web browsers but of course that's not the end of these web browsers we're going to remove safari and we're going to pop in microsoft edge but that my friends is for another video so i hope you guys enjoyed my second tech video this one this one took a while uh really um the test the first I have to find all these tests and uh, I'll link them down in the description below so you guys can go check them out but all of these tests uh, were me I did all these by myself and um, the of course finding these websites and stuff so this took a while to do and to edit and to put together but in the end I hope you guys appreciate it if you did please support show me support i would love to make more episodes maybe one with windows or one about uh linux or um ubuntu see which one is the best web browsers for those operating systems mac os x is definitely not the only operating system out in the world and definitely not even the most popular operating system uh this one took a while so truly so i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next episode. Rakishono 2, out.